Wednesday, beautiful Libra. This is Stephanie of Light with your monthly forecast for July 2015. I hope I find you very well. I have moved currently, so I've moved for the last, well, like over a week now. So thank you for uh, being patient and understanding the delay. So I hope everyone's having a good month so far. There's been a full moon in Capricorn, which shifted things interestingly, that's when I moved, and then um, now we're coming into the energy of the beautiful Cancer new moon, and we are currently in the sun, sun sign of Cancer, so there's a lot of homey energy, I moved into more homey space, so it's really nice to have that now, and yeah, I'm excited to post some events that are coming up, and I will have videos on those very shortly, and yeah, so happy July, and I hope you well. I'm going to be doing something a little differently this month. Let's check I have. Yes, I do. Okay, this month I'm going to be using the Druid Craft deck for all the signs, and it's a really beautiful deck. I'm going to be pulling a card from the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month with an energy vibration. So some of us are experiencing healing this month. Some of us are emotional review, um, so to say, renewed of relationships. Uh, shifting in, it could be home, it could be moving. There's a lot of different aspects depending on your chart. And if you'd like me to take a look at your chart or give you an in-depth reading, please go, go check out my website. I just finished all of it and it's below. It's really beautiful. So I hope to see you over there and at the event. All right. And please do subscribe if you haven't done so because I'm going to be having lots of more videos coming. The weekly readings will be up again and uh, freeze. some free events will be coming up, so do stay tuned for that. And there's also a like page below if you want to go check that out and like the page. I try to update that every so often, sometimes daily and sometimes once a week. All right, let's get into it. So this is for beautiful Libra for the month of July 2015. So I feel it's something to do with home for you this month, Libra. That's what's coming through home and family. We are all kind of reviewing that, but there's something really major, um, something good, a blessing that will be coming through, some kind of shift for you. So let's see here. Libra for the beginning of July 2015. Okay, this is the card that wants to come up. Okay. So it has to do with seven pentacles. So, so to say, you could be cutting something physically away from yourself, but it has to do with physical objects. So I feel like there's a lot of abundance and foundation happening also with your heart. There's green, there's a green cloak, and there's this tree. So there's, so to say, this tree and this huge growth that has happened to you within the last few months, I feel. And now you're starting to reap the harvest, and it could have to do with something from your home and something from your family. Um, but it has to do with a work trade skill you do. And it could have to be something around what happened around Christmas with family. You're starting to like, okay, like that's renewed now. I can let that go. There's something like a letting go, a renewing, and a shifting, but also a harvesting happening. And you are the abundant goddess, an abundant god, as you are Libra ruled by Venus. So Ven Venus is gracing you with love and abundance, and you'll be getting, so to say, this blessing and this gift, so to say. Or it could have to be doing with something that is coming to you, so to say, around the winter season, whether you be in the southern hemisphere or the northern hemisphere, depending on um, the season you're in right now. So, yes, it is spiritual too, because seven is the most spiritual number. It is the number of God. So, so to say, you're going to be receiving blessings from the universe, and it could have to do with the foundation of the family, and so to say, your foundation of work, what you do, what you enjoy to do, also something that you are, some kind of artistry that you do. So that's really beautiful. Let me pull the card for the middle of the month and see what I can bring together on that story. All right, so the middle of the month for July 2015 for the sign of Libra. All right, this is the card that wants to come up. The world, that is so beautiful. Wow. So the new moon is bringing you just abundance, everything. You have the world, success, travel. Um, yeah, you could be like 
traveling back to something or because you did all this beautiful work on the foundation you're in right now, you could be going uh, a place somewhere you would love to or you could be physically moving into the world, some lo new location for yourself or your whole family could be moving or it could just be a renew and refresh of a new way of living where you're at right now if you are not moving. But um, it also symbolizes the feminine. So there's this feminine shape of um, the womb, I want to say. So there could be a child coming to this world just, just because of the shape I'm feeling. That there's this new, refreshed being. Or you could be reborn into something new. There's all these magical tools. You have all the elements. It is a major arcana card. It signifies this successful completion as well. Um, success and just being seen in the world. And this is... It could she's actually genderless so it could be a man or a woman you could be reborn you could be giving birth or some I feel like some some new being could be born into your family and really feeling that fertility abundance and travel and connecting heaven and earth together see so she has her foot on earth and then she has the two wands facing to the sky so you could be doing some kind of magic manifestation within the world, within travels, could have to be doing that your trade goes globally. Oh, sorry, this way. Your trade goes globally and you start to see um, your trade move forward in the world. That's what I'm really feeling. It could be physically that you go somewhere with that project or that it could be, so to say, import, export kind of thing like that. You have things ex exported to other countries. You could be just doing a lot of trade with different countries. It's very interesting. So let's pull a card for the end of the month. That's a very interesting reading for you, very positive. A lot of growth is happening. You're, so to say, growing. You could be growing a child because I see this harvest being, so to say, reaped. And then I see uh, the world. And the world is like when you are pregnant, there's this big world and this child is growing inside this world. So you could be giving birth or becoming pregnant or some kind of, so to say, harvest that you'll be reaping and it'll be recognized in the world, internationally speaking, yes. So the end of the month, and do check out all your signs, your rising, your moon, and your sun. This is a general reading but it's good to look at all three and then get a bigger picture. The bigger picture, it's about the bigger picture in the world for you. Okay, so the end of the month for Libra, for July 2015. Let's see what wants to come for you, Libra. Okay, okay, so this is upside down. I feel it really is going to be a move into the world. So your head might be upside down right now because you're trying to make a decision. It's not a bad thing because this is normally a woman that's blindfolded and sees behind her, but this, the path is right in front of you and there's all this growth that has happened. And you have to kind of choose where to go. And I feel that's going to be the tricky part for you. Um, you need to figure out where you want to go next with this. It, physically, I feel though, it's more like a mental thing you need to decide, okay, where do I go next? Like it's a physical path that you're going to be choosing. So you're kind of like changing because of this, this work that you do, this, so to say, and being seen in the world, there's like a choice you have to make of where to go next. And I feel you'll choose the right path. It's mostly connected to your heart and will help your business as well. But it's really about coming from the passion and being grounded and rooted with this decision and making the right choice for yourself as well as the growth of this unit, so to say. It could have to do with the family too, so the family could feel like kind of divided because you're going to be traveling. But there is another way of doing it. You could be traveling back and forth or they could be coming with you. So you have to kind of make the decision like, how do you want to travel on this path and what path do you choose? But do not fret it or fear it because it is about a mental decision. But be really grounded when you make the decision because I know Libra, you can be already out there in the world. So really make a decision that is grounded and practical for yourself. So really bring more in that earth energy. And I feel you're gonna make the right choice for yourself and everyone else involved. So trust that process and trust your passions. There's a lot of beautiful roots and so to say, they're kind of watery, willowy roots right here. So you're going to be making 
a decision that could be a little emotional for you, but um, the roots can always be planted in other places and you can take those people with you if they decide to go with you. All right, I'm sending you love, sending you light. Thank you for tuning in for this monthly July 2015 reading. I will have your weekly readings up very soon. Um, within the next 24 hours, do go check out my website if you'd like a personal reading or a Reiki session with me, or also get a personalized, uh, beautiful meditation video. All right, I will see you very soon and stay tuned for more things and go check out my like page as there's always updates on there. Namaste, love and light and beautifully expand into greatness, into this world, into your universe and you can make it whatever you want it to be. Love and light.